An asset purchased for $50,000 has a $20,000 salvage value after 10 years. The asset is depreciated using MACRs with a 10-year recovery period. The effective interest rate is 6%. What is the book value of the asset after the first three years of ownership? So book value is the difference between the initial cost of an asset and the cumulative depreciation over some number of years. So at the end of life, normally we would say that the book value is zero because it's the end of some designated period. Now that might be confusing because we wanna say that the end value is the salvage value. But even if an asset has salvage value, if we've been told to use MACRs, right, we're gonna to refer to the MACRs factors table in the reference handbook, it's going to depreciate the purchase price at pre-established percentages. And it's gonna do that over some designated recovery period. So in this case, MACRs is being used with a 10 year recovery period, which happens to coincide with the service life of 10 years, but that doesn't the service life doesn't really matter and the salvage value doesn't really matter. It's the designated recovery period that is decided upon when using MACRs. When you use the MACRs factors, you have to decide the recovery period that you're gonna use. And from that, you derive the pre-established percentages, how much you're gonna depreciate from the initial price each year. So if we refer to that table, and you can use this as your search term, MACRs factors, then we find out that the first, second, and third year depreciations are going to be 10%, 18% and 14.4%. And that's based on a 10 year recovery period. Once we have that, we just take the sum of those three because we wanna know the book value of the asset after three years. So what's the total cumulative depreciation over the first three years? It's gonna be the sum of these three percentages. This is actually 14.4, by the way. So collectively, that's 42.4% or 0.424 if you like. And let's multiply that by the initial price. So the depreciation, over three years is 0 0.424 times 50,000, which equals 21,200. So that's how much the asset has been depreciated. The book value is the difference between the initial cost and the depreciation thus far. So the book value in year three is 50,000 minus the depreciation over the first three years, which is 21,000, and that equals 28,800 which is closest to answer choice C. In general, if you have depreciation and you're asked to find the book value, it's the same idea. It's gonna be the initial purchase price minus the depreciation up to that point. It's just that you may not be using MACRs. You may be using straight line depreciation where it's just some number of years. But the interesting thing about straight line depreciation is sometimes the salvage value is predicted at the beginning. So the end point that we're driving to isn't necessarily zero, it's the salvage value. But that's not the case when we're using MACRs. We do depreciate all the way to zero and we do it with predefined percentages, which are a function of the recovery period. So that's why this solution path is the way it is.